Welcome to Seven Shifts Academy, guided lessons for restaurant workers, owners, and operators to get the knowledge they need to grow their businesses and succeed in their careers. Seven Shifts is scheduling software made to simplify labor management one shift at a time. We help restaurants improve performance, freeing up time for managers to focus on serving their customers. In this video, we're going to talk about a very important restaurant management skill, perhaps the most important skill of all, interviewing job candidates. We'll cover questions for managers, front of house roles and back of house roles. And make sure you stick around until the end as we share the most important interview questions often missed. Let's do a little thought exercise. What do you think is the most impactful decision a restauranter has to make? You might be tempted to say that it's choosing a concept or picking the perfect location. And sure, those choices are all important. But we would argue that the most important decision of all is who you hire to work in your restaurant. The people you hire to be the face of your restaurant can make or break your business. Restaurant staff members who are engaged in their work are better able to create memorable experiences for guests, even if they don't interact with them directly. Team members who aren't engaged create subpar experiences for guests and are more likely to quit. But how can you be sure that a new hire will be a good fit and engaged in their role before you hire them? By asking strategic interview questions. Here are some questions to ask when you interview potential managers. Question number one. What are the most important skills someone in this role should have? How do you think you embody these skills? The answer will show you whether the candidate understands the role and it gives them an opportunity to explain how they fit into it. If a candidate's answer is overly generic, then your restaurant is probably one of dozens of restaurants they're applying to and they don't care where they end up. Good candidates should demonstrate how their experience makes them a good fit for the role at your restaurant. Candidates also get bonus points for discussing this role and past roles passionately. Question number two. A server calls in sick at the last minute. What would you do to ensure a smooth day of service when you're understaffed? It gives you insight into the candidate's problem-solving skills. Look for a solution that keeps guests a top priority and supports the short-staffed FOH team, like the manager stepping in to work the role or making rounds on the floor to apologize to guests for the slower service. Question number three. How would you handle a customer who won't cooperate with the restaurant's COVID-19 safety procedures? You need to know that the candidate won't be afraid to enforce rules, but can do so while maintaining a hospitable environment. Doing so shows that they understand their role in protecting their team members and other guests. Rather than simply chastising an uncooperative guest, the candidate should say that they'd share the restaurant's policies with the guest and explain why guests play an important role in upholding them. Doing so emphasizes hospitality by preventing the guest from feeling like a bad guy and instead makes them feel ownership over their role in keeping others safe. Of course, if the guest continues to break the rules, the manager should politely ask them to leave. Here are some questions you can ask when you're interviewing candidates for front of house. These are great questions for candidates for server, bartender, barista and host roles. Question number one, why do you want to work here? Oftentimes, front of house roles are seen as temporary jobs for workers rather than long-term career options. Because rehiring and training new staff is costly, it's in your best interest to hire candidates who are in it for the long haul. This question can help you distinguish serious candidates from those who will only stick around until something better comes along. Look for passion in the candidates' responses. Listen for anecdotes they may tell about what your restaurant means to them. Question number two. Tell me about a time when you had to handle a difficult situation with a customer. What did you do? The answer reveals how your candidate would represent your restaurant under pressure. 
It can also show you how they deal with customers who don't adhere to safety measures. Listen for a logical decision-making process and proper escalation of the situation to a manager if it's necessary. Question number three. Tell me about a time when you went out of your way to delight a guest. Hospitality is about putting customers first. You need to know that your customer-facing staff will go the extra mile for guests. Look to see if candidates show enthusiasm and passion while they share their stories. If they seem annoyed that they had to do a little extra to meet a special request, they're probably not right for the job at your restaurant. Question number four. How would you describe yourself in a team setting? Remember, working in a restaurant involves working in a team environment, and you will need to know how the candidate fits into your restaurant's team. Look for an honest answer. If the candidate is enthusiastic about working with a team and shares stories about the time they helped to make the team's experience an 11, then they might be the right candidate for you. If the candidate doesn't bring examples, you can always politely ask if they have one. And finally, here are some questions you can ask when you're interviewing candidates for back of house. These are great questions for candidates for potential chefs, cooks, dishwashers, and bussers. Question number one. Tell me about a time when you were in the weeds. How did you handle the pressure? If a back of house candidate can't handle the heat, they should stay out of your kitchen. You need to know how this person performs under pressure. Listen for how the candidate prioritizes competing tasks with limited resources. Question number two. Tell me about a time you made a mistake at work. How did you handle it? Why is it important to ask this question? The way a candidate handles mistakes shows their problem-solving skills and maturity. A candidate shouldn't be afraid to describe a time they made a mistake, and they should own up to it. They should also describe how they minimize the impact of the mistake, reflect on what they learned, and explain how they made sure the mistake didn't happen again. Question number three. A team member's mask isn't covering their nose. What do you do? You need to know that candidates will hold colleagues accountable for upholding COVID-19 safety measures. Candidates should say that they would lead by example by properly wearing PPE and that they wouldn't be afraid to confront coworkers who don't. Candidates should also get a manager involved if the coworker consistently fails to take safety measures seriously. In this time of pandemic and uncertainty, there has never been a more important time to make sure you're hiring the right people to work in your restaurant. Not only does everyone need to make sure your customers continue to be delighted by your restaurant, you also need to make sure the patrons feel safe and comfortable while dining with you. Asking the right interview questions will help you feel confident that you're hiring workers who understand these incredible responsibilities and take them seriously. Question number four. What questions do you have for me? This question is the staple of any interview. You will want to know what ideas or concerns the candidate has about the role and or the business. So responding with no or nothing right now suggests they may not be as leaned into the opportunity as you'd want them to be. Question number five. Why should we hire you? The question helps to understand why you should invest in the candidate. Check if the candidate brings up legitimate reasons and does their best not to put their personal needs above the needs of the business. Look for if the candidate thinks they are a good addition to the team and if they are passionate about the role they're applying for. Any quick highlights of key must-haves like positive attitude and good work ethics is usually a good sign. Making good hiring decisions is more critical now than ever. The right staff will obey strict safety measures and hold their teammates accountable, all the while creating the best possible experience for guests. The wrong team members will decrease guest confidence in sales. Strategic questions will reveal your candidates' values and help you determine whether they'll be a good fit for your restaurant family. Good luck and please check the video description for further reading suggestions, links to 7Shift's scheduling software, and other resources.